this as well, and we are developing an augmented reality treasure hunt for Alveston, and our client is more than one from the design. Our value, uh, our value proposition is Morgan has the intention of creating a treasure hunt uh, for Alveston House. He's created an app in the uh, Genaro Creator, but this did not fulfill his um, idea of the, using it as a treasure hunt. So we will create um, an app that will show 3D models from around the garden and then give them sort of some sort of progress on how many images we have. So the way we see solving the problem, we're going to use the Genaro application, which is a free web based image treatment service that um, um, you can easily download that from Google Play and whatever it is. It will scan QR codes or image, physical images live around the garden and connect it to your channel, our channel and then a 3D image will pop up on that. Uh, we're going to create that using the Genaro SDK. Uh, the user would have to acquire the, the Genaro browser right in the visit if they want to use their own tablet. Um, but we can, we're talking to Morgan and he's going to talk to Austin as well about purchasing several tablets pre installed with our app and you know. Um, there are some risks involved in this. Um, the cost of the SDK development license is quite expensive. So if we can't get around that, we'll just continue using a free license and work around any limitations based on that. Stable tracking images, uh, we will use hard material that will not reflect light and will not re will resist corrosion as well. So we don't want to have just a plain bit of wood in the garden that could be moldy or things like that. So when they're in forestry, we place the images in sheltered and stable ground away from any overgrowth. We don't want to have any weeds growing over it so that we disrupt uh, people being able to see the image. And if Holston backed out, that would be okay because there are a lot of other places we could potentially go to. For an example, of London Castle with the drop. Yeah, all it requires is changing 3D models and tracking images to suit the environment. So are they going to basically. So the idea is that we're going to hold some metro and some of this device and they scan it and it shows them some stuff. No, one of the things that um, we thought was that a QR code in the middle of an, an old garden would sort of take away from the experience. So what we want to do is put a tracking image in that still looks natural and you you look at the tracking image and it would show you the, the 3D image with, say, the animation that goes along with it. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, yeah, QR code look the other way. But, mm. So what about things like live things? Sorry, can you repeat that? Live agents? Have you used them at all? No. The way you load how I've loaded it, things, and you said some of it about the thing, um, and your, each one's got an ID in your phone, you can see how far away the one is. You know, some okay. hot tweaks and that sort of stuff, so you know that when you walk into the room, you have something you want to be out three meters away from speaking. You're obviously in the room, so it's kind of like the QR code without having to do everyone has a QR code. Um, I think that's what I'm going to tackle with the software and the computer for all. Since we've sort of agreed on doing a um, project using Manio, Mateo, sorry, um, I'm not sure there's any documentation for using them. And another thing, there might be a limitation to the cost. Uh, placing 10 or so of these things, beacons around the garden, and the, the house may end up costing a lot of money. This project is um, more intended for the children. Yeah. It'll be a lot more fun for them to run around finding 
Mm. Yeah. It's like a little treasure hunt, isn't it? Uh, it's like a little treasure hunt. Yeah, and yeah. The children are supposed to go around and find treasure. all of the little um, tracking images to yeah. see the the picture the models. I find more tablets. Tablet. So like the child connection is pretty That's all done by the eyes, okay? Uh, and the um, Mateo um, <laughs> SDK and uh, Jenna Rosen. So uh, my, my phone can run it fine and it's my phone can work. Uh, so providing you have a smartphone shouldn't be a problem. Although maybe the image resolution, like uh, the tracking image might, might be too small to I think it's right. more like a million people shop my expensive. No, no, that is that's true. Um, babies love tablets. Yeah, yeah, babies yeah. also love tablets. And if you buy them, I assume you'll get some of those pretty those yeah, cases yeah, yeah, yeah. to put around them. And rubber things that you can drop them. So if you're buying some, would they be available for hire from Alphaston? Um, the way we see it, it'd be easy you know, tablet. You can just go use it, provided you don't. Yeah, uh, we, we, we wouldn't be looking at buying that many, although this is all up to Olveston, because that is that isn't just an idea. Um, they wouldn't buy that many, I'd suggest, uh, or suspect. They'd, they'd be putting groups, the kids would be putting groups in, be given a tablet each for each group, and they'd go around. That's how I sort of envisioned it. And that wouldn't be overly expensive. Mm. You know, all brand new ideas. That's a little bit of um, yes, we can do that and so have been working on it. They've developed the game assets and the gameplay and already old some of the background. So it's not really always a really keen on it. It's been a year that was just a definitely yeah. did. Yeah. <laughs> Something we could look at. Yeah. Something we immediately were they didn't like it. Yeah. We did. What sort of age range are you aiming to set? Um, I was sort of more around eight to eight to onwards. Primary school, primary school. sort of yeah. like a like a field trip sort of thing that yeah. primary schools would do. Because um, I, I don't really see high school kids going all the same kinds of things. You don't get to see a lot of kids there. Yeah, that's this is sort of what we're trying to do, like an attraction sort of thing, to make it a little bit more interesting for the younger audience. Um, maybe just tourists as well, tourists that come in, or they pick up an iPad, whatever, and go around, just just a little something extra for the house. <laughs>